All my life I've never had problems with claustrophobia, but at age 48, I was sitting in a dental chair on a, another part of the, you know, uh, the city, and a dentist that I'd been going to for years. And uh, they were doing the form impressions, and, uh, and it, just, it just hit. And I mean, uh, she wanted me to leave them in, and I was trying to pull it out, and, and the dentist, he jumped in, and we had three sets of hands in there, and, and I mean, it, 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 it created a tremendous amount of fear. But when I was brought here for the first time about six years ago, and uh, when they started to work on me, it, uh, uh, I was apprehensive that they, uh, they got me calmed down and, uh, and assured me, and we took forms. I mean, they made form impressions back there. Robin, she, st she was back there with them, and I think she sat there with her hand on my shoulder and, while they were taking them, and I don't know, things just kind of calmed down. But it's not only the, I mean, the claustrophobia would hit me in a lot of places after that, you know, on airplanes and whatever. But, uh, and I can't say that it won't happen, but it won't happen here. Uh, I feel very comfortable. I don't even take a Valium when I come here, so <laughs> I'm good. And, and from the first, first time I sat down in the chair here, it was, uh, it, it, the trust was there. So I just listened to it and they, they say we need to do this and I said, okay, so off we go. <laughs>